uh, brother, brother Philip. Because every day people die. People die of different things. 
for you. Cast your cares onto him, for he cares for you. And all he needs is an open heart. So give your life to the Lord today, because tomorrow is not promised. And so many of you guys, it may be your last time hearing the word. It may be your last time hearing this today. And some of you may just go home and just ignore these words. But I pray that the word will be planted into you. Will be planted into your soil that you think on these things. Because the Lord is coming back. Whether you believe it or not. He is coming back. And he's going to come back for a church that is spotless and without God. So you need to get yourself ready. You need to get yourself ready. Because the time is at hand. You don't know. The time is at hand. So heed to these words. Heed to these words. So that you can be able to stand before God on the day of judgment. And he can be, he can say unto you, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Amen. The Holy Ghost just went uh, just took over, man. She, she got that, you remember we were talking to yesterday where the Holy Ghost just, ugh, just got to get it out? Like a burning fire in my belly. Come on, sister. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. All right. If anybody needs prayer, you can come to us. We can pray for you about anything. And if anybody that wants to receive Jesus Christ today, he said for those who confess with their lips and believe in their heart that Jesus is Lord, that he rose on the third day from the grave, then you shall be saved. And his promise in his word, he's always faithful to you, his promises. So if anybody that needs prayer, or that want to come to Christ, you can come over here and we have servants of the Lord who can do that. In Jesus' name, pray amen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey, hold this for me real quick. Hold this for me. Alright, my friends, I want you to understand. A few hours ago, alright, she was throwing up on the street. The enemy had been attacking her, feeling oh, yeah. sick. And now you can just see as we walked up here, the sister's preaching. The power of the Holy Spirit just overtook her and she's like, I gotta preach. How powerful. I don't know about you, but I can feel the Holy Ghost in every word she was saying. Amen. I just want to say hallelujah. God is raising up an army, not just in New York City, not just in America, but all around the world. We see more people getting on the streets in the power of the Spirit and preaching the truth of God. Repent for your sins while you still have a chance. Now is the time. Don't wait till it's too late. Amen. Anything you want to say, sister? Uh, I just want to say the Lord is good. I was not even expecting to preach today at all today. <laughs> I don't think and you the, were planning to preach right there. I was not planning to preach right here. But the Lord was like, oh, it's time. It's time to say a word because, you know, it's, but you never know it's the last time that we're here. So, you know, it's important that we go out and to minister to these people because Christ is coming back, you know. Amen. We don't want to see anybody going to hell. We don't want to see anybody being left behind. So... All is well. Amen. Amen. I remember you were, um, I don't know if I should share this on there, but you can share remember you were a little bit, you know, yeah. to preach and, yeah. and you were like kind of crying and now <laughs> you're just, just like, like ah. last week at the Bible study, I was so emotional about being fearful about preaching the gospel because oh. I, yeah. I was so scared about like, you know, the persecution or not knowing to say. Next thing you know. The Spirit <laughs> gives us power. Yeah. So many people oh, message me saying, Brother Philip, how do you preach in these places? How do you go to these places? God gives us power to do what we can't do in our own flesh. Amen. Amen. You can Amen. testify, right, sister? Amen, yes. And I can testify <laughs> that the Lord set me free from that. <laughs> attacking her to preach the gospel because the devil knows that she has that fire in her. She has that um, Holy Spirit power over her. When she does preach, people get set free. People get delivered. So um, uh, it, it, it's amazing how God works and stuff and sets people free. And, uh, hallelujah. God is good.